invest time invest energy invest resources in being and staying healthy and don't think this is just a casual statement people have died because of the neglect of this instruction everything that will leave you healthy is your assignment and in this end time is your business that includes eating that includes exercising as god grants you grace that includes staying away from information that pollutes your mind do you know that your mental state is connected to your health we have ignored this for many years in the body of christ but now we are learning again and thank god for christian experts who are giving the body a reorientation that your body can be healthy but if your mind is polluted your body will still pay the price make up your mind protect your mind protect your body is that a wise instruction say i shall not die one more time say i shall not die there is a responsibility component to longevity i made up my mind that i will not die oh this thing i said i said it in the presence of god i said it in the presence of demons i shall not die but there can be death in the pot i hope you know you can eat yourself to death by careless eating there are times where the the report of doctors conflicts the report of the word at that point you are given the liberty to choose whose report you believe but there are many times the report of doctors agree with the word are we together now yes they look at you and they say listen oh you have this do you know for simple vitamin deficiencies there are many many believers who have put themselves down i gave zari an illustration permit me to use it here now if you refuse to be attended to medically speaking and you break down and die before your time and if one million souls were connected to your destiny to be lifted by your becoming you have robbed those people because of pride versus you go to the hospital responsibly you are treated well then now you are healthy and you keep learning the ways of divine health which of them is wiser me i will not lie to you go to the hospital if you are sick i will pray for you when you are sick but we are responsible people I will visit you when you are sick if I have the time and God grants the grace. I will not be ashamed of it. We are becoming. It takes a while. Did you hear what I said? We are becoming. It takes a while. And so while you are growing, be patient with your growth. God is patient with you. That's why he keeps empowering the mind of medical practitioners to see that there are advancements in medicine. Don't die the death of a fool. Many have done that in a bid to feel spiritual. What is this pain I'm having? From January till November, it has refused to go. And you have refused to do anything about it. There are many preachers who preach on the pulpit and go back home and they cannot sleep. They are rolling. That's the reason why you find out people begin to abuse drugs, injecting themselves and doing all kinds of things because they have to survive. They want to give a picture of invincibility, whereas they are dying. Please take responsibility. Maybe this is a deliverance message for someone now. One of the things you should use this break to do is go and have a full medical checkup. Write it down. Write it. You are my people. Write it. Full medical checkup. Whatever that means, just write it. When you tell the doctor, he will explain it to you. Full medical checkup. Why are you afraid of checking yourself if you believe in God? find an explanation to that pain find an explanation to that inexplainable dizziness you stand in the sun you are almost falling you fell four times you don't care don't wait till you fall not to rise again go to the hospital this is called responsible christianity responsible christianity take your parents for medical checkup take them Many of them will not, ref they will refuse, but take them. Find a way to babysit them until they get to the doctor. Let them verify what is wrong with you. Take your children. A child is crying every night. And as a parent, I, I, now I'm a firm believer in the word of God. But you, a child cannot be crying for weeks and all you do is make a sign of a cross with anointing oil on his head and say, go and sleep. No, I believe in the power of the anointing. But let's be responsible. You don't like what I'm saying? Take it as a prophetic instruction. 